You were going. You want to go on a on a deep adventure to the inside of the silicon, right? That's right. So, a few years ago, I started working on building my home chip fab, and one of the main issues is trying to find semiconductors and silicon wafers for doing making the chips. So, often you have to go to eBay to buy them, and you're not always sure what you receive off eBay. So, I'm going to show how you can check what type of wafers you got, whether they're P-doped or N-doped. You can look for the wafer flats. So on wafers, they grind the edge of the wafers on many of them. Many of the older ones, like the 4-inch wafers, will have a primary flat and a, uh, a secondary flat on them that's ground on the side, and that indicates what type of wafer they are. But newer wafers, they don't do that because obviously it uses up real estate on the wafer. So now they're trying to utilize every bit of the wafer. So I want to show how to do hot point wafer identification. So you can do this with a voltmeter and a soldering iron or a heated um, a heater of some sort. So basically what you do is you push two probes into the surface of the wafer, this being the wafer here, and then you heat one of the probes and you don't heat the other probe and you'll see the meter either swing negative or positive. So when you're testing, if the, the meter swings to the positive direction so the, the sign on the meter shows positive, it's an N-type wafer. So that's a phosphorus doped wafer. If the meter swings to the negative, it's a, a boron doped wafer and that's important when you start doing um, your semiconductor process. So what I have here is two spring-loaded pins and a soldering iron. I'm going to heat one of the pins and I'm going to push it against the wafer and we should see that this is a p-type wafer so the meter should indicate negative voltage <clears throat> when I push it against the... Oh. Uh -huh. It is on. Sorry, I have it backwards. <laughs> what we should see is the meter should swing in the positive direction for this wafer. So, it's swinging in the positive direction. Now I have a piece of wafer that's do doped the opposite. So if we push it on here and heat the, the, the probe, we should see it swing in the negative direction. So that's how you identify the doping in a wafer.